The Anne of Green Gables, the suffering literary classic Anne of Green Gables, by Lucy Maud Montgomery tells the enticing story of Anne Shirley, an imaginative and alive orphan, and a happy turn of circumstances that leads her to the lovely rural home of Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert, a brother and sister. The work follows Anne's progress from an orphan with a creative imagination to a beloved member of the Cuthbert family and the Avonlea community, all set against the lovely backdrop of Green Gables. Anne's red hair and boundless spirit leave an imprint on everyone around her as soon as she arrives at Green Gables. The story skillfully conveys Anne's errors, her lovable friendships, and the difficulties she encounters as a young lady. Marilla, who originally wanted to adopt a son to assist with farm tasks, becomes captivated with Anne's warmth and charm, which sparks an adorable investigation of the changing relationships within the Townsend family. The beautiful scenery of Prince Edward Island is effectively captured in Montgomery's complex narrative, which serves as a backdrop for the highs and lows of Anne's journey's emotions. Readers of all ages will find sympathy in the author's deft use of themes of identity, belonging, and the transformational power of love throughout the story. The persona of Anne Shirley is a celebration of individuality, determination, and the power of imagination to change reality. Her friendships with beautiful Gilbert Blythe and Diana Berry, two kindred characters, provide the story depth and emotional insights into the difficulties of friendship and developing love. Chapter 1. An Unexpected Arrival. Unexpected events happened in the sleepy town of Avonlea. Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert's house, Green Gables, received a tiny orphan girl named Anne Shirley. The most surprising thing is that they had been hoping for a son to help them on the farm. They had no idea that Anne's existence would infuse their lives with a fresh energy and creativity, laying the groundwork for an exciting tale full of unexpected turns and touching moments. And brought a breeze of curiosity and a breath of fresh air when she entered the Cuthbert's house. The chance for something amazing was created by the mismatched expectations. A peaceful rural home called Green Gables was accidentally thrown into the middle of an unexpected adventure. Their lives were about to enter a new chapter that would be full of amazing and unexpected events, all inspired by Anne's vibrant dialogue and creative musings. Anne's captivating energy started to seep into Green Gables, turning the ordinary into the extraordinary with every passing day. After being confused for a while, the Cuthberts rapidly realized that they had received more than just a helping hand when Anne arrived they had also gained warmth, laughter, and unexpected joy. They had no idea that this strange turn of events would eventually affect every aspect of their existence at Green Gables. The previously peaceful halls of Green Gables hummed with the laughter and dreams of a young girl whose viewpoint on the world was magically altered in the days that followed Anne's unexpected arrival. At first confused about how to interpret this crazy force of nature, Marilla and Matthew became fascinated with Anne's boundless energy. Because of Anne's stories and creative adventures, the ordinary became extraordinary and every day became a discovery of the amazing in the obviously ordinary. Green Gables, a formerly peaceful safe haven, was now alive with the energy of a red-haired child whose presence inspired the rural house with vitality. They had no idea that Anne Shirley's sudden entrance would mean more than just her adoption into Green. Chapter 2. Green Gables Beckons. As Anne Shirley became comfortable in her new home at Green Gables, the beautiful landscape of Prince Edward Island started to captivate her. Anne's energetic energy was reflected in the vibrant hues of the growing meadows, the peaceful whispers of the nearby woodlands, and the delightful atmosphere of the countryside. It looked that Green Gables had thrown out its arms to welcome this unexpected guest, and in exchange, and spread upon the area a contagious energy that was at once charming and transformative. After first being wary of the unexpected change that and brought about in their lives, Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert came to appreciate the good impact she had on them. The unexpected happiness and brought at every turn made the once regular routine of Green Gables glitter. Known for her practical approach, Marilla gained a fresh respect for the beauty that and saw in the most common objects. The conservative farmer Matthew saw that he was laughing more often as a result of Anne's charming laugh and joyful energy. The everyday interactions that took place inside Green Gables walls reflected the town's charm, which exceeded the scenery's beauty. Anne's creative mind transformed routine work into delightful journeys. 
Green Gables became a means of expression for Anne, whether it was telling tales of the haunted wood or turning everyday objects into extraordinary symbols. The laughing, dreams, and occasional events caused by the lively redhead girl filled the once calm home. The Avonlea community was also forced to acknowledge the shift. Once only a beautiful setting, Green Gables now stood as an example to the extraordinary. The Cuthbert's farmhouse developed into a haven for the development of imagination, friendships, and extraordinary charm poured into the everyday. Because of Anne's lively presence, the villagers, who were originally surprised by the front door of the strange orphan, began seeing Green Gables as a place of warmth and laughter. Chapter 2, Green Gables Beckons, shows readers how Anne's energy changed the previously peaceful household. The ties of friendship and family strengthened with the passing of the seasons, turning Green Gables from a house into a place where amazing things could happen. Chapter 3. Adventures at Avonlea School. Avonlea School activities marked the beginning of a new chapter in and Shirley's journey, which began at Green Gables. The small schoolhouse in the heart of the hamlet served as an opportunity for Anne's glamour, infusing the whole community with a happy energy that lasted a lifetime. The sound of children crashing, wooden desks creaking, and the subtle smell of chalk in the air provided the background noise for Anne's studies. The school, which had previously been a place of routine, was transformed into a place of possibilities by Anne's involvement, which gave each lesson an extra shot of energy. Her first encounters with her peers helped her understand the confusing dynamics of Avonlea School. Kindred soul Diana Berry right away became Anne's bosom friend, and the two set out on a journey of dreams and joy. But not all exchanges went as planned, specifically with the impish Gilbert Blythe, whose playful banter gave Anne's school days an unexpected twist. Within the walls of Avonlea School, Anne's creative spirit found refuge and opportunity to express itself while she made her way through the world of education. Her love of language presented her as a literary aficionado among her peers, and her flair for storytelling transformed commonplace issues into captivating tales. The school served as a venue for and to demonstrate her gifts for teaching as well as her scholarly abilities. In adventures at Avonlea School, friendships, rivalries, and Anne's growth in character inside the classroom are all woven into a beautiful web. The little schoolhouse, which had previously served as a backdrop for everyday life, was now filled with the sound of Anne's laughter and the student body's growing friendship. With the difficulties and delights of her school years behind her, Avonlea School became yet another empty page on which the energetic redhead painted everyday objects with amazing brilliance. Chapter 4. Imaginative Escapades. With the charming title, Imaginative Escapades, Chapter 4 in the magical world of Green Gables captures and Shirley's magical journey as she blends her vivid imagination into the fabric of daily life. Anne's days turned into a series of fun adventures, with a strange feeling enveloping every moment. From seeing the peaceful forests as the intriguing haunted wood to turning an everyday trip to school into an exciting journey, Anne's world was an array of imagination woven with truth. The town was first confused by Anne's singular viewpoint, but quickly became charmed with the creative storm she brought into their life. The previously peaceful Green Gables was now alive with the laughter and laughter of the outgoing redhead. Having grown up in a routine that was known, Marilla and Matthew were taken by Anne's creative whirlwind. Nightly routines of Anne's imaginative telling turned everyday events into fascinating tales of fascination, affection, and adventure. The people of Avonlea were also captivated by Anne's creative energy. Her adventures became the talk of the neighborhood, and friends were captivated by Anne's dream world. The relatively small settings of Green Gables became a realm where the extraordinary became the everyday, as Anne raised her believed storylines. But in between the jokes and fairy tales, Anne also had to deal with the odd difficulty. While charming, her wild imagination sometimes resulted in unexpected natural events. Anne's accidents like coloring her hair green by mistake or mistaking strawberry wine for raspberry friendly, brought a funny sense of disorder to the lives of people around her. Imaginative Escapades, the fourth chapter, captures both the transforming power of imagination and Anne's particular appeals. Every day was a fresh page in the colorful book of the red-haired girl's life, 
filled with the laughter that rang through the Bennett household's walls and the colors of her imagination, as she continued to explore the landscapes of Green Gables. Chapter 5. Kindred Spirits. Chapter 5. Kindred Spirits is a charming chapter that tells the touching story of Anne Shirley's life at Green Gables. It follows and as she makes a moving journey towards meaningful connections and deep friendships. As Anne's days went by, her lively spirit connected with the core of a friendship that would shape an important part of her time at Green Gables, and became friends with Diana Berry, a kindred spirit whose soul reflected the warmth and depth of Anne's own. Diana also became her bosom friend, overspoken secrets, shared dreams, and a common understanding that went below the normal friendships of Avonlea. Their bond became stronger. The scenery of Green Gables served as a setting for Anne and Diana's travels. The two built a haven where their creative faculties ran wild, involved in activities such as exploring the haunted wood and creating their own imaginary universe. Observing the friendship flower, Marilla and Matthew took comfort in the fact that Anne had found a friend who valued her distinctness. But even among the happiness of friends in spirit, and also came into the challenges of relationships with others. Anne's experiences were made better by the arrival of Gilbert Blythe, a classmate whose playful conversation created a relationship that was to grow over their time in school. Despite their acting differences, Gilbert had the potential to play a big role in Anne's life. In Kindred Spirits, the profound effect of friendship is beautifully explored. Readers are shown the beauty of connections that transcend the everyday and foster a sense of belonging via Anne's eyes. Now adorned with the laughter of similar souls, Green Gable's surroundings became a place of refuge where friendship ties played a major part in Anne's amazing journey. Chapter 6. Challenges and Triumphs. The sixth chapter of Anne Shirley's memoir, Challenges and Triumphs, is an important turning point in the story as it follows the vibrant red-haired orphan as she gets the challenges of youth and the successes that come with self-discovery. Now, the calmness of Green Gables was mixed with Anne's adolescent energy. Her route towards adulthood was not without its challenges, and the environment of Avonlea School became an atmosphere of both academic rigor and personal growth, and fought with the specifics of youth while balancing the challenges in literature and mathematics. But the difficulties weren't limited to the classroom. There were sometimes confusions and disputes within the community as a result of Anne's outgoing nature and unwavering attitude. Despite their encouragement, Marilla and Matthew watched Anne's transformation with a mixture of pride and worry, knowing that the path to self-discovery was not always easy. Through the difficulties, successes started to surface. As Anne overcame school challenges and won the community over with her steadfast spirit, her determination and commitment were visible. Relationships grew, particularly with Diana, and the ties created in previous chapters now experienced the challenges of youth. The phase of change in Anne's life where the excitement of childhood meets the challenges of growing up is nuanced explored in Chapter 6. In this chapter, the laughter of Green Gables vibrates with the joys and sorrows of teenagers, crafting a story that will strike an emotional chord with readers, as Anne navigates the trials and successes that will shape her into the wonderful woman she wants to be. Chapter 7. Romantic Notions. Chapter 7 of Anne Shirley's life at Green Gables, called Romantic Notions, sees the lively redhead lead a journey into the world of feelings, friendships, and the wild winds of teenage love. A gradual shift in the atmosphere occurred as Anne carried on with her adventures at Avonlea School. Gilbert Blythe's mischievous presence, which was once the subject of jokes and disparaging, now had a deeper meaning. Anne's mind started to excitement with romantic ideas that she had never thought about before. The schoolyard transformed into a venue for the subtle dance of developing emotions, as Anne battled with the complexity of friendship and the developing feelings she was experiencing. The familiar settings of Green Gables were filled with tension and excitement by the relationship between Anne and Gilbert. The landscape was painted with hues of uncertainty and curiosity by Gilbert's attempts to get Anne's attention and Anne's attempts to navigate an unexplored area of youthful passion. As attentive viewers of Anne's trip, Marilla and Matthew picked up on the minute changes in her interactions and attitude. Anne's friendships, especially with Diana, were rooted in the whirl of feelings amid the romantic ideas. Once the setting for carefree childish jokes, 
the Avonlea School was transformed into a stage for the intricate workings of the heart. Readers saw Anne's pulse race at the memory of her first love and realized that passion was just as unstable as the whims of her own imagination. Romantic notions delves into the emotional feelings that come with childhood in a way that is both engaging and stimulating. With the flush of coming romance, the beautiful surroundings of Green Gables became a symbol of Anne's travel into the world of love. Readers are welcome to journey with Anne as she navigates the finer points of friendship, love, and the beautiful complexity of growing up in the beautiful environment of Green Gables as the novel develops. Chapter 8. Seasons of Change. Seasons of Change, aptly named, conveys the essence of transformation as the lively redhead explores the changing ground of her personal journey in the story of Anne Shirley's life at Green Gables. The seasons and the patterns of Anne's existence at Green Gables followed each other as they passed through Prince Edward Island's beautiful countryside. The summer's vibrant hues faded into the comfortable autumn palette, reflecting changes in Anne's personal life. The leads accepted that change was natural, their desires for love developed, and their friendships grew stronger, academically, and saw both fresh successes and disappointments. The Avonlea School's syllabus grew, giving and more chances to advance her education. Her insatiable need for information and books was satisfied, and a season for intellectual flowering in the simple charm of the schoolhouse began. Friendships stood the test of time, especially the ones with Diana and Gilbert. The once playful dynamics changed into deeper bonds that mirrored young adult seasons. Green Gables, which was once a silent observer of the character's development, unexpectedly showed the effects of these seasonal changes, reflecting the ups and downs of life. Romantic concepts also kept developing. Once in their infancy, those delicate movements of Anne's heart started to take on a more distinct rhythm. The scenery of Green Gables formed an amazing backdrop for the complex emotional dance, expressing the spirit of youthful love in the midst of seasonal change. Readers are welcome to observe the Green Gables characters accepting the beauty of change as Chapter 8 develops. The story depicts the inevitability of personal and social growth via the lenses of Anne's experiences. In the always changing tapestry of Anne's unusual life, Seasons of Change becomes a chapter that deftly creates a balance between the sorrow for the past and the excitement of what lies ahead. Chapter 9, Heartfelt Bonds. Heartfelt Bonds opens the joyful continuation of Anne Shirley's story in Green Gables. It follows the energetic orphans' relationships with the Cuthberts and the Avonlea community as they grow into a tapestry of lasting affection and familial love. The relationships in the Cuthbert home became closer as the times changed and Anne grew older. Marilla and Matthew, who had previously been wary of their guardians, got caught in the sincere affection and respect that Anne spent upon them. The house Green Gables, which was once simply a place of residence but now a home full of joy and special times, spoke to the continuing impact left by Anne. Moreover, friendships developed into real connections. Diana, Anne's bosom friend, and she developed a strong friendship that went beyond their early mischievous antics. Their shared hardships and achievements built an embroidery of sisterhood, showing the unbreakable nature of the ties that bind like-minded people. Anne's influence was felt far and wide in the Avonlea community, even beyond Green Gables. Her outgoing nature brought comfort and happiness to both friends and fellow students. The once unusual orphan had grown into the beacon that lighted everyone's path. In exchange, Avonlea welcomed and as one of its own, forming a link that went beyond conventional views of family. Anne's conversations with Gilbert became more complex as romantic ideas grew stronger. The story developed layers of complexity and depth as a result of the subtle complications in their relationship, which suggested a bond beyond friendship. Green Gables became a haven where the beauty of real connections resonated with the whispers of the heart, and the romantic elements blended in with the growing bonds. The emotional center of Anne's journey appears in Chapter 9, Heartfelt Bonds, which is defined by the creation of strong bonds, the discovery of familial love, and the comfort of lasting relationships. Once a refuge for a creative orphan, Green Gables now served as a symbol of the going-on power of honest connections in the amazing fabric of Anne Shirley's life. Chapter 10, Legacy of Green Gables. 
Kaz and Shirley's journey at Green Gables comes to an end. Chapter 10. Legacy of Green Gables, properly named, offers a moving study of the long-lasting effects of her arrival in the sleepy village of Avonlea. Green Gables was a place where time had woven complicated designs into the fabric. Once a creative orphan, and had grown into a young woman whose joy and spirit became buried in the surrounding environment. Anne's affection and warmth transformed the Cuthbert household, demonstrating the transformational power of family and the power of relationships created by choice as well as blood. Friendships had also endured over time. Anne's story had become linked with Diana, Gilbert, and the other Avonlea kindred spirits. The group had become a haven of acceptance, comprehension, and love as a result of their shared memories, laughs, and development experiences. Romantic ideas had developed into grown-up feelings, and Green Gables had seen Anne's heart dance softly. The reality of the life she had created combined with the recollection of her childhood as she stood on the brink of wisdom. Now woven into the fabric of her life, the sexual undertones that had before lingered on the outer limits of her thinking. The house known as Green Gables has evolved into a living tribute to the amazing journey of a creative orf. The landscapes served as observers to the changing seasons, victories against challenges, and the life story of a redhead who had an eternal impact on everyone she came into connection with. The story of and Shirley continued to be in the air as the sun set on the history of Green Gables. It was a story that went beyond the pages of a book. It developed into a beloved story that was imprinted in Avonlea's collective memory, leaving a legacy that spoke of the amazing magic inherent in the common, as well as the power to transform of love and friendship. Dan who transformed an empty part of the world into a place full of love, laughter, and an unwavering spirit. Key Learnings The story of Anne of Green Gables inserts important lessons for readers into the fabric of the book. Essentially the book stresses how resilience and creativity can change a person. With her vibrant dreams and powerful passion, and surely shows us that even the most everyday events can become amazing experiences if we can just imagine a happier, brighter reality. Her journey of challenges and successes demonstrates the power of durability and shows how difficulties can lead to personal development and a farther down, happier being alive. In addition, the book goes into the timeless topics of the value of genuine connections and the influence of love on both individual lives and societies. The outstanding importance of real connections can be seen by Anne's developing dynamics with Gilbert Blythe, her heartfelt bonds with the Cuthberts, and her close companions like Diana. The immortal value of family, friendship, and the power of love to leave a lasting impression on a person's heart are all shown by Green Gables' legacy. Basically, Anne of Green Gables communicates the idea that, despite life's joys and hardships, the relationships we have and the love we share eventually produce the true legacy that adds depth to our lives.